Can I have this? Can you drive it, please? Yes, you do have to. Somebody will be with you as soon as possible. Bye. We are the police. My name is Inspector Carter, and this is my assistant, Megan Jones. What happened here? Yes. We need as much information as you can give us. This is an awful incident and you have to give us a detailed report as you can. Uh, are the witnesses here? Yes, and this is the owner of the shop. What's going on? Why are you here? I, I, I color them both. It's crazy. It found dead body in the back room. Where were you, Mrs. Smith? I have been following for over an hour. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but can you tell me exactly what you saw? Um, I can't believe this. We were just uh, here and all we heard was a strange noise just before let coming from the back room. I heard it too. What was the noise like? What, 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 what did you tell about the noise? 
It was like a van or maybe even a painful cry. I can't be sure. It was over so quickly. Thank you, ladies. Your information about the noise is uh, will help us. Uh, is, this is very suspicious in it, John. I know, boss. I think we cannot do, we can't do anything else with these witnesses. I think the best thing is to go to the uh, morgue and the mortician can help us with this case. Well, Art, you have any solid evidence to help us in this case? Carter Jones, good to see you. Well, yes, I think the victim was a struggle. Look at these brushes around his neck. Clearly, all of these mar pressure marks point to strangulation. Oh my god, this is awful. This is so violent. But anyway, the person who did this must be really strong because the victim looks strong himself. Yes, John, but oops. Uh, did you find any concrete evidence or clues us sol solve in this case? What we mean is that we are completely sure that you found some fingerprints in his neck. I don't have time to look yet, but I think there's a good fingerprint. Come with me. Okay, now we've got a fingerprint. I found a perfect fingerprint. You want a copy? You bet. Thanks. Oh. Well, you are welcome. You are very welcome. Always happy to help. I hope you find the criminal before the day's out. I will see ya. Yes, thank you very much, Hobbs. And yes, we will find this guy. Thank you. What about? The, for the crime in your garage. I don't know anything about it. What happened? There was a murder in your shop. A witness, a local woman, says that, that a crime was heard and then you appeared and say you had to have lunch. Oh, God, but I didn't hear any scream or anything. I was repairing an old bike and I felt angry and I went to lunch. Okay, do you want a coffee or a drink? Maybe you will remember something. Okay, a beer. A beer. But if they think that I am involved, they are wrong. I didn't say that you were involved, only that you were at the time of the crime. Inspector, you come here to accuse with me, and I am not going to take this. Goodbye, Inspector. Confirms that Mr. Smith went to the bathroom 
with the victim. And after a while, a strange noise uh, came from here. Mr. Mr. Smith came back, but mm, the victim never do. Never do. Objection! Maybe all of the, all of all of two things may accuse my client, but you don't have uh, you don't have any actual clues. That's not true. Yesterday we found some fingerprints in the victim's body, and after we saw that they were the same that they, that we found in Mr. Smith's gloves. Here are the analysis results. Objection! Refuse. Thanks, Your Honor. In addition, we found some blood marks on Mr. Smith's clothes. And, and according with the test that I have just here, are the same as the DNA of the victim. Okay, now we have some clouds. What does the defense have to say? Well, enough! I'm guilty, okay? <gasps> Why did you do it? You killed a person! Nothing, nothing called justify what you've done. Order in the court. Now, now Mr. Smith called you tell us why did you do it. So in 2009, the victim and I had been involved in an illegal business in which we sold arms. We want to earn much more money, so we start to make contact with more and more interested people. Several months ago, I accidentally told Mr. Gallagher about all of this to a boy who wanted to buy arms. But the victim didn't like talking about this. So he, he came into my shop and told me I had to stop talking about it because people could discover us. He was there, so he wanted to leave the job and tell the police. I couldn't allow so that. So. You killed him! Mr. Smith, I've heard uh, enough. You're guilty of having an illegal arm business and killing a person. You'll be exec exec executed tomorrow. <laughs>